God bless you. I love you very much. I would like to take your attention for a couple of minutes about the testimony that I have in my life. And this testimony, it's about the Jesus Christ. I find the light and the life and the love of Jesus Christ in my heart. And why it's very important for me to share this message with you because I'm, I'm sure many of you, you have a difficulty in your life. You're happy in the sorrow and the pain, maybe in the affliction and the sickness. For many years, I have been in this pain and this sorrow and affliction especially in the Middle East, when it was a prosecution and it was the religious dictatorship. Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood to forgive our sin. Jesus has come from the God the Father to bring the light and the hope for the whole the nation. Jesus is the Father for the fatherless, he is the light for those people who are in darkness. Jesus Christ is the one we can take a refuge in. Religious never can save us, but relationship with the love of God through Jesus Christ can bring us to the salvation and freedom of our soul. Today, I speak in that name because this name has been taken from our school, public places, and in many cases, the politicians, they do not want to speak about it because they think there is no sense about it. It's outdated, but Jesus is alive. And we know because we have him in our heart. Bible says no one goes to the kingdom of God except to be born again. And what does that mean to be born again? It means that you being born in Jesus Christ, you're being breathed by the spirit of the living God. And when the spirit of God come inside of you, the Jesus Christ will identify with you and you will be identified with him too. Jesus still heals today from the sickness. Jesus still heals today those people who are brokenhearted. Jesus still gives you information and counsel regarding to your very personal life. I would like to tell you that Jesus is the king of the righteousness, the righteousness, the righteous lives, to be a right with God, to live right, to not be wicked or sinful. We have to turn away from the sin and all the bondage and affliction and darknesses and yield to the Jesus Christ to save our lives. Jesus says, I am the bread of the life. And if someone is hungry, indeed if he is eating of the bread of Jesus Christ, he shall be saved. I am here to tell you assuredly that the God loves you. That's why I am here. God loves you so much that he has sent his son, Jesus Christ, on that cross, he crucified him. He shed his blood and his blood can cover you from the evil one and from the affliction and the sickness. Today, many people, they are protesting against the name of Jesus Christ. They want to take this name out of the history, out of the book. But Jesus is alive in our heart. And by no means they can take these names. He has come back for judgment of the world. And you need to be with, prepare yourself for this uh, great judgment. And if you give your life to Jesus Christ through this testimony, you shall be saved and there is no condemnation in you. I love you so much and I want to assure you that if you give your heart to Jesus Christ, your life will be changed. You will never be the same. The hope coming into your life, your life will be changed. Sin has no power over your life. God bless you. I love you so much.